I want to uh, tell you who these cats are. On the guitar, once again, Joe Berger, the Burger Master. I hope this cat remembers me when he's a multi-millionaire because he's going to be, he's a shooting star. Peter Kloman on the tennis saxophone. We used to spiel and spiel and spiel down on the Berliner Strauss until dry hoor and then hang out till fum for and have some pizza. My main man, Giovanni Golino, on the My friends baked us a beautiful chocolate chocolate cake. I want everybody to have some. Because yeah. uh, heute Abend ich bin ein in
Kirk Rosen. Kirk Rosen. Joe Berman, the Berman Master. I'm John Hammond, the Kings of the Sixers. Joe Berman, that's the Chocolate King. Wait a minute. Can somebody take a picture of my beautiful King? So I want to ask you, I, I promised Oregon we wouldn't put uh, chocolate all over the... So it looks like there's chocolate. <laughs> but uh, try to be careful, and then when you're done, we're going to have like a, a bucket you can just put the serviette in there. Is anybody good at cutting the cake as a professional? <laughs> Is there, is there, there's some, somebody who wants to be a professional. Anybody want to do the cake cutting? Because I don't want to make a mess, you know? Everybody come over. Oh, right. Thank you. up the camera, we need it for the second set. Tony Hook Emotions. Yeah. Turn it down. Turn it off for now. We'll get it the second set with it. Well, there's a case. Huh? No, there's no case. You leave it on the stand. No, that's a case. Yes, I can't believe how many people are here. This is fantastic, you know. I want to thank everybody for coming again. And uh, how many people are going to be on the music message tomorrow? All oh, right, there's, there's a few music message people, but a lot of local people. I want to tell you that uh, some stug, some stug is the public day. It's open to the public, so come on down and. Uh, uh, Friday afternoon? Friday afternoon also. And the first time, this is the first time we want to welcome the John Lennon bus. Yeah, the John Lennon educational bus is there. And me and Joe were going to play with some cats in front of the John Lennon bus at least once a day, you know. And they're doing a beautiful thing. Yoko Ono supports this project. And they got a brand new bus. It has a Mercedes chassis. And a Ketter uh, truck. Thing. It's got a whole recording studio in there. So it's it's deluxe, you know. So we're going to be playing as the John Lennon bus. So come on down. And there's the Hammond stand. There's people who add saxophones and people make Fender guitars. Everything's going to be there. It's going to be a lot of fun, you know. So we hope to see you at the Mesa. Come on, have some cake, everybody. Yeah, I can. doing. She's doing a wonderful job cutting the cake. Give her a big hand, everybody.
there for nothing and uh, we're the early show thanks for tuning in folks I want to tell you that just had a little power blackout here and it's always very sobering to uh, realize you can't take power for granted in the internet so many people around the world are struggling to get those two things right now and that's been on my mind that I've traveled quite a lot I'm getting right into traveling again in fact I will be hitting the dusty trail first thing tomorrow morning yeah looking back on some pictures during the blackout now I'm back online, I'm going to send them out to you. I've been in a lot of interesting places and met some very nice faces. And uh, you can see as we go along here, that's the sound of Joe Berger on guitar. Giovanni Toto Galino on drums. And my good friend Peter Kloman. K L O H M A double N. Remember that name on the tennis saxophone. Yeah, we got a nice little quartet whenever we're in Frankfurt, Germany. And my friend Hans Romanov. That's one of his party scenes there. I always said, where Hans goes, the party goes. I've played a lot of different interesting places with Hans. And I uh, hope to see him again before too long. I'm talking about going back over to Germany. But right now things are a little bit up in the air for reasons known to all of you. We were very lucky to be able to pull off a great showcase at the NAMM show. We were the first band up on the ADJ Lighting Arena Plaza bandstand. Right when the doors opened up on the first day, we were with the band playing and everybody was hanging out with us and then going into the show. And we saw a lot of friends. There were over 40,000 people came. But a lot of the companies were missing. So we hope, very nice Joe, yeah we hope that uh, they'll take the, the message that people want their music and want to keep the NAMM show going. Peter on tennis saxophone, Peter Kloman, a beautiful player. Yeah, the NAMM show, I've been going since 1987. 
and the Frankfurt Musik Messe is now completely finished. And I did 33 consecutive years there in Frankfurt, Germany. So we had a good run. Some places we played around. Frankfurt might not be back there, but I'll be back to Frankfurt town and see my friends. And and we'll be playing up in Hamburg for sure. I got uh, actually something in the works right now. And more information to come. So keep tuning into my Hammond reports. I was doing one every day for hundreds of days during the pandemic. But I'm uh, taking a little bit of time for myself lately. Yeah, Peter. doing some very interesting projects all the time. He's been doing some large ensemble things at the Association Rundfunk Radio Studio. You can check it out on the YouTube. It's amazing what you can find on YouTube, you know? Anything that you want to fix, you just look it up. People make videos about everything that you can imagine. Thing. And you can always check out the Hammond Reports and my cable TV show. Yeah, Peter. Peter Kloman. I'm going to play some Hammond organ here for you. You see that sign that I wrote? Not for sale. So many people come up to me and ask me how much... I want to sell my organ for it, so that, that uh, shuts that down, hopefully. It's a good sounding little organ. I've been on the road with me for 11 years now, and before that I had several different models. Yeah, this is the easiest one to travel with. We had to wipe those poles down before <laughs> they were very well uh, seasoned. Yes, they were. Interesting club there. On the Elbestrasse, 49 Elbestrasse, 49. It's also known as the Black Russian. And we're mad at the Russians right now. It's a terrible thing what's going on over in Ukraine. I got a lot of music friends over there. And I got friends in Russia too, so there's one lunatic behind it. We want to see that stop right away. This tune's been around the world with me. I wrote it in Paris in 1981, my very first trip to Europe. Air France Concorde jet. Took three hours and 26 minutes from JFK till I landed at Charles de Gaulle Airport, Paris, France. 56 days in Paris following my dream. And now I'm coming to you in 2022. July 25th on a Monday. Everybody have a beautiful week. Be nice to everybody out there. And if you're driving, be careful. We'll see you next time around. I'm going to take you home with my tune here. And say one last thing before I slide out of here today. That is. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye now.
Hammond Report for Thursday, August 4th of 2022. John Hammond at the microphone and at the organ here. Thank you very much, folks, for joining me once again for some more of my music and stories. Well, I'm filing a quick report while I'm sitting in the car waiting to play a morning gig today and I got my preferred parking space and that makes me happy I always say the early bird gets the worm and the second mouse might get a decent parking space but I was the first one today and I got a lot of equipment in the car so it makes it a lot easier I'm sitting here at my Hammond A100 console organ playing an old tune the very thought of you and I've been thinking about you everybody especially since yesterday folks came out to protest the sneaky way they came into good old people's park in Berkeley 3 o'clock in the morning they fenced it off They thought they were going to be able to sneak the construction project in there. And uh, uh, they woke up a sleeping giant. I was there on May 15th of 1969. And that's uh, hallowed ground there, you know. It was nothing but a parking lot. But they made a beautiful park out of it. And whatever people think about it today, it is what it is. And it's part of the history in Berkeley town. Got to keep it what it is, you know. The university has been going apeshit crazy, developing it all over. You're not even going to recognize Berkeley by the time they're done building all those high rises and knocking down all the buildings around the university so let's hope they can keep that bit of history there and uh, a place where people can convene yeah I have a little uh, personal attachment to that people's park you know well I'm thinking about what I'm going to play for everybody this morning get everybody ready for a beautiful lunch and the weather's very agreeable. A little bit of fog came in last night. Hope everybody's doing okay out there. I'm going to keep it kind of short today. So I want to wish everybody have a beautiful day or night or whatever time you tune me in. And stay safe out there. Have an even better one tomorrow. This is John Hammond saying one last thing, and that is, bye-bye now.